All right, brothers and sisters, today we are doing the Florida Indians that are in Gainesville. I told you, I'm trying to bring it out. <clears throat> Watch my series of these Indian, Florida Indians thing, man. So the Temecua Indians. All right. These are the Native Americans in Florida. The Ice, the Apalachee, Calusa Creek, Miccosukee, uh, which is down in Miami, but right here in... Excuse me. I'll show you. Right here, the Timaqua. This is the area right, I'm, Gainesville is right in the heart. <clears throat> what is you is on the Timaqua side. It's all right. And the Yamasee. And the Yamasee. We're going to show you about the Yamasee. Gainesville and the surrounding areas is a big part of everything that happened in Florida dealing with the Seminoles, the Yamasee, and the Tamuakwa. Right. <clears throat> the State Library and Archives of Florida provides access to a multitude of published and unpublished, unpublished resources for the study of Native American history and culture and recognition of Native American Heritage Month. Bam, we're going to go through all this. You're going to get the, uh, 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 okay. It should be no surprise that some of the earliest images of Native peoples as well as now United States originated in Florida, originated in Florida. The, na the earliest images, ladies and gentlemen, are known as Montanas. These are the, this is Florida right here. These Indians right here are Florida Indians. These are Floridians. These are Floridians. And remember this picture. Those are the Florida Indians. Uh, Florida Indians. Um, though, uh, these two pictures right here, these were in St. Augustine, right around the corner from where I'm from, 1671. St. Augustine, St. Augustine, brothers and sisters, St. Augustine. And I'm going to continue. These are original Indian images from recorded by Arnoldus Montanus. And some of these pictures I typed in uh, are Florida Indian. And you go from the pictures of the Tamoakwa. Of the Tamoakwa. We can see the chop top there on the peninsula. But uh, I'm going to continue. He, the first recorded European expedition images came from Florida. Uh, under the command of Juan Ponce de Leon, landed somewhere along the east coast of Florida in 1513. Several conquistadors followed over the ensuing half century and left a trail of bush, bloodshed across the peninsula. This is why I say, man, most of you brothers in Gainesville, you got Spanish names. My name is Romanda La Casey. And I ain't no Spanish. Let's continue. These just look at the images. Keep the images in mind. This image is in 1591, but uh, in 1564, the second of two French expeditions landed in northeast Florida near the St. John's River. St. John's River is about 30, no, excuse me, 45 minutes from where I'm located. They established a short-lived settlement dubbed Fort Caroline, which survived until it was destroyed by the Spanish in 1565. One of the members of the ill-fated French settlement cartographer and artist Jacques Lemoyne de Moors is credited by creating the earliest known images of native Floridians during his brief stay in Lemoyne's, survived the Spanish attack and sought refuge in England upon the return of Europe. This is the early images of Indians. Keep these images in mind. It is unknown whether Lemoyne's sketches made in Florida survived a journey across the Atlantic or if he later reproduced drawings from memory. Regardless, by 1591, engraver Theodore de Bray acquired sketches of an Lemoine's Basically, you see what you read. But listen, man. What's crazy is these are the... These are doing the 1600s, man. These are Negroes, man. These are the pictures, man. These are the true... 
listen, this one right here says Florida right on top of it. This is an image of Florida of Indians. Copper colored people, man. Copper colored people. I'm a cute one. By the brides of Lemoyne images are some of the most significant and controversial artifacts that document European. They've been whitewashed, iconoclasts, basically. I'm telling you. That's just like if the Indians were brought to England and Queen Mary and all of that. What are the Indians today that are over there that survive? The Negroes now. The most significant, okay. They provide also glimpses into Native American culture in the 6th century Florida, 16th century Florida. The images below are among those of the DeBry series that provide limits, hints into the uh, life and customs of Native Florida Floridians. The indigenous people depicted in the images were known as Tamuakwa. Tamuakwa. Gainesville and about, man, the surrounding areas of Gainesville. Most of the cities around it were Tamuakwa. And I'm going to show you how the Yamasee came into play and the Seminoles came into play. But let me keep going. Okay. The Tamuakwa were divided into several small chiefdoms and subsisted on farming, hunting, and harvesting marine resources. The ethnographic evidence from the 17th century in the form of documents created by Spanish priests lend additional credibility to some of the elements <clears throat> portrayed by De Bray in his 1591 publication. These are Indians being struck by famine, man. They were known to have tattoos and stuff like that, too. The motivations of the artists are quite apparent in the above image. The European soldiers in the background stand armed with superior technology guns while the native warriors carry only bow and arrows. The intended message was that the Europeans need not to worry, worry about the military prowess of the Indians because the Europeans enjoy far greater fight power. Demons. The portrayal of women kneeling before the chief is more complex. The chief is adorned with elaborate tattoos, a detail unlikely fabricated by the bride. Later evidence gathered by European observers confirms that Native American men and women tattooed their bodies with a variety of symbols. The caption that accompanied this image explains that, as a part of his chiefly duties, the chief had the power to compel warriors to attack rival tribes and take captives, would then become the part of capturing the tribe through ritual adoption. This image alone might convey to European males the motion that women were subordinate to chief and men in general in their society. However, as elsewhere in the native southeast, the chief, in this case, is obligated to the women to launch a military campaign to replace the loved ones lost to war or disease. I'm going to read this next caption and continue with the next video, man. And just remember that these same Indians are these same brothers right here. This is this is a Florida picture, man. These are Florida Im uh, images cartographized or whatever you say by uh, our notice Montanus in the 1600s. And this is a, a image that literally has Florida on the top by our notice Montanus. So you know these were copper tone people. I'm going to just keep that in the play, man, because, uh, okay. Look at this image above, man. The image above portrays the various types of athletic activity engaged by the Tamaquan Indian. Indian youth. The pole at the center represents a local version of a game found throughout eastern North America, sometimes called the ball game or stick ball. Tribes from New England to Florida to the Mississippi Valley play versions of this game and their descendants still do today. Who played this game today? What descendants? Look at that image, man. Alright, I'm going.